Uh, Rocco, uh, welcome to Clearwater, and uh, this is only your second 70.3. Uh, the other one that you did in St. Croix, explain, uh, or just give us an idea about uh, what your experience was. Uh, St. Croix was an awesome experience, not because it was one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life, uh, but because uh, people were really cool. The race director, Tom Guthrie, was really nice. He took me out and showed me the famous beast. So uh, it was nice to see that ahead of time. Um, I, had a, I had a great time. You know, it's the Caribbean. It's fun. It's, it's really beautiful. The weather's great. You get to stay at the Buccaneer. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a nice time. The race was very difficult. It was my first um, 70.3. And, you know, if, if this being an Ironman is about ordinary people doing extraordinary things, wow, you never met a more ordinary guy trying to do something extraordinary. But, I, you know, I managed to finish it. And uh, does walking count? If you walk your bike the whole way, does that count? Yeah. Uh, somehow I managed to finish it. And, you know, I'm, I'm hooked. Uh, that's, that was my uh, fifth or sixth finish line in triathlons, my first 70.3, and I just thought, wow, I gotta just keep doing this. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, so now that you've got St. Croix behind you, yeah. and uh, an experience, a, a moral experience yeah. for you. Um, yeah. Did you say an immoral? It yeah, felt immoral. Yeah, going up that beast felt a little immoral, I gotta yeah, tell you. Yeah, and it's a real experience, The things I, I was thinking about the person who, do, who designed that race course were kind of immoral. Yeah. <laughs> Not a, yeah, exactly, yeah. and a moron. Yeah. Um, anyway, <laughs> we'll leave that one there. <laughs> I, <laughs> He's over Tom, there. Tom, you listening? He's there somewhere. Um, so give us an idea of what your feelings are going to be tomorrow morning when you line up possibly against the, uh, the, the, the greatest ever 70.3 professional and age group field ever assembled. Yeah, thanks for letting me know. I appreciate it. I was just trying to keep that part of it out of my mind. Well, I'll probably be dead last, which is fine. It's okay. I just want to I want to finish in the time allotted. Uh, my goal here is to have fun and to be, you know, part of your party. I'm really just uh, an outsider who's looking in and gets to play around in your world every once in a while. Um, I'm basically an out of shape, flat footed, crooked spine chef who has no business doing any of this stuff, but somehow manages to get it done. And uh, I really appreciate the fact that there is something like an Iron Man organization that can inspire people to do things that seem absolutely impossible. And uh, I just hope to cross that finish line healthy and safe and uh, with a big smile on my face. Okay, my last question Whenever is Whenever it is. <laughs> 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 10 o'clock, whatever it is. Oh, we'll, 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 we'll be there, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my last question is, um, you're an expert in the culinary uh, field, mm -hmm. so I want to know what uh, you're going to be eating for dinner tonight. I know, they should call me the real Iron Chef now, right? Uh, what, I, what do you eat for dinner tonight? A lot of something, a lot of carbs, right? A lot of pasta. Oh, I charge a lot of money for that. Do you know what? I would, if I could, <laughs> I, would, I should have brought some white truffles and I would have made myself a big bowl of white truffle pasta. Next time, next race. Oh, well, good luck out there. Thank you very much. I'm going to need it.